Santa Fe, New Mexico, and we got our star on February 14th of this very year, 1912. The over 150-year history of Wickenburg, Arizona has been one of transition. From first impressions, Wickenburg is a laid-back but touristy southwestern destination that glorifies its roots of gold and silver mining prospectors and the cowboys and cattle ranchers of eras gone by. Today, Wickenburg is known for its clean air, wide open space, team roping capital of the world, dude ranches, tourism, and its rehab treatment centers. These centers draw patients, domestic and international, including many celebrities. I would like to thank the Desert Caballeros Western Museum and the Wickenburg Chamber of Commerce as resources for the making of this video. In this video, we will explore Wickenburg, Arizona and its transition from gold mines to dude ranches to rehab centers. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I don't want you to miss a single adventure as we explore the world around us. I'll see you on the other side of the introduction and watch on. Located near the center of town, the Jail Tree is a 200-year-old mesquite tree where prisoners, drunks, and criminals were shackled in Wickenburg between the years 1863 and 1890. Since there was no jail in town, the prisoners would be left out under the elements. Eventually, a lawman would come from Phoenix to transport them to the territorial jail, some 54 miles away. As we enter the town of Wickenburg, let me give you a little bit of history. The town was named for a German immigrant named Henry Wickenburg, who is one of the first prospectors in the area. He is said to have discovered the most prosperous mine just out of town called the Vulture Mine. To my understanding, there are tours available to check out the remains of the mine for yourself. There is another famous tree near the Vulture Mine in Wickenburg's homestead called the Hanging Tree. The warning sign nailed to the tree reads Wickenburg's house and hanging tree from this ironwood tree 18 men were hung for high grading or stealing gold ore please watch your step needless to say things were handled a little different back in the day of the wild west in Arizona As the prospecting gave away to unscrupulous land and mine sales, the prosperity of Wickenburg was ensured by the coming of the railroad in 1895. In those years, the town had even once been viewed as a possible candidate for the territorial capital. The historic train depot today houses the Wickenburg Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. Along the town's main historic district, early businesses built many structures that still form Wickenburg's downtown area. Tourism led to the development of guest ranches, with as many as 14 operating in the 1950s and 60s, when Wickenburg billed itself as the dude ranch capital of the world. Today, there are two main guest ranches still operating, the Flying E Ranch, and the K.L. Bar Guest Ranches. Today, Wickenburg is known as the team roping capital of the world with the development and expansion of Rancho Rio by Ty Yost and Yost Events. Not to be outdone, Wickenburg has also become the hub for rehab treatment centers. According to the American Addiction Center's National Rehab Directory, there are currently 12 recognized centers in the greater Wickenburg area. According to reports, there were recent stays by Harvey Weinstein and Kevin Spacey, Tiger Woods in 2010, rapper Iggy Azalea in 2017, pop star Selena Gomez in 2014, and back in 2006, even Rush Limbaugh. 
Thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe. Curious Pero.